बॉडी that essentially means that whether i am associating happiness to the physical facilities and then to ensure happiness within me i am looking at physical facilities and trying to produce them accumulate them consume them things like that or i am able to see that physical facilities are the needs of the body and not mind so physical facilities are there for the body body is there for me my need is happiness the needs of the body are physical facilities and the two are different so am i clear about this so i have to look into my imagination and see whether i am associating the two or not second is whether you are able to see the purpose of physical facilities as nurturing protection and right utilization of the body and not otherwise so whether the physical facility that i am going for i am clear about their purpose physical facility could either be for nurturing the body or protecting the body or for rightly utilizing the body if it is something otherwise then i have to see what is the purpose and i have to look into my practical life into the day to day life and if you feel that there is some other purpose also then we can list it out in place of just feeling guilty or if just feeling uh, otherwise you can just list it out and see that if it makes some sense to me then what is that sense if it if it is purposeful then what is the purpose maybe it is for right utilization i am not able to see maybe it is for nurturing i am not able to see maybe it is for protection i am not able to see or it could also be the case that it is not of not for any of these and i am trying to look for it with some preconditioning thirdly whether you are able to make out the need for facilities for the following rightly education of your children so we had discussed it at length also so whether i am able to make out how much money i require for educating my children have i been able to make out for marriage of my children how much money i require these are major concerns in the families isn't it when i am earning today then uh, i have to save for this or i have to earn more and more for this so we need to understand whether we have been able to make out these needs correctly or not so again i'll say that the way we are living today have we been able to make ourselves clear for these purposes how much facilities i require ensuring health of the body this has also become i'll say a kind of menace for the people how much money will i require to ensure health of my body particularly in my old days nowadays the operations and the medical expenses you know, have become have gone so high the operations have become so costly shelter for your family you know whether i am going to make a house of my own or construct a house or whether i have a house which i am inheriting only that i have got to repair it so put it all together am i clear about the need for money for shelter of my family many times it also happens that parents try to construct houses for their children also now the children are also going to be prosperous with right understanding they are also going to be skilled they can also produce things that they require which i may not need to produce for them but if i am not clear i may be busy producing shelter for my family for my children expenses in the old days now how much money will i require this is also something which can be budgeted that assuming some life span for me i am i able to make out how much money i'll require in the old days now if i'm able to make out these expenses then i can be clear about the need for facilities in totality not very 
precisely in terms of numbers, but an overall idea can be had. And then I can be sure that, yes, now what I have is going to be enough in these many years or what I have is already more than what is required. So that clarity can be there. In addition, whether you identify the need for physical facilities by your income or budget or by right understanding of the needs of the body, uh, whether we decide our expenses by the salary that we have or we already have the understanding of the needs of the body and then we utilize the salary accordingly. Here, we can also do one thing which we did not discuss yesterday. We can discuss it today. Now, when I'm going to make an assessment of the availability of physical facilities, sometimes we may only look into the income that we have. But we'll see that I have some income today. But I may also have some assets which I am inheriting, which I have total in totality. Some people may also have some liabilities to pay off. And the expenses are there. For expenses, we talked about the major expenses in detail above. Now, looking at the total assets, liabilities, income and expenditure, I can make out what, what remains due for, for which I have to make an extra effort. And by that also, I can be more clear. So when I am looking for the availability of physical facilities, I need not only look into the income, I also need to look into the assets that I have, isn't it? And while looking for expenses, you not look into only the current day expenses, but also the liabilities which I may have to pay off. Now I can do this kind of exercise for myself so that I'm very much clear. So it, we are raising these issues because many times we keep on talking about certain words. We keep on also talking about the definition of those words, but the meanings may or may not reflect to us exactly in our personal life. So these exercises help us to pinpointedly see what this word means to me. Now you see that if you are able to make out the need for facilities rightly and also see that the availability is more than required, you become what somewhat mentally free on certain counts. This is a major thing that occupies your imagination if not getting fulfilled rightly. Now you can also make an inventory of the items in the house. This is something that we'll discuss today also. You can make an inventory of the items in your house, like furniture, clothes, books, gadgets, etc., and check if you are right utilizing them or not. So uh, this is also important to note because there could be a possibility that we have so many things in the house, but we are not utilizing them rightly. And you may plan to go uh, for something new. So while procuring something also, I can see whether this is exactly needed or not. Do I need to procure it or it could also be based on some sharing. Uh, and when I am purchasing it, then am I going to rightly utilize it? It so happens many times you see that the families go to malls and they will go to purchase one item or two items. But when they are in the mall and they see a variety of colorful things in the mall, they'll just keep on roaming between the rows and just looking at various things and keep on uh, putting them in the basket and then come with much more than what they had planned for while going to the market. So are we clear? Are we clear of the need or we are deciding the need looking at the things outside? Are we able to rightly utilize many times with the things because we got attracted to them and when they come home then we are not able to even find time to utilize them or even feel that uh, they are needed but it's just brought it like there could be furniture clothes books gadgets so many things now there is a nice furniture in the house okay, it is only six months old six months old you go to the mall or a market and you find that a new kind of design is there. And you just feel like, uh, because I have money, so you just feel like removing the old one and get a new one. Now, if you purchase some furniture made of wood, not the 
present day wood that we are going for mostly but the old uh, wood teak or something you see that you purchase it once and it continues for 30 years 40 years even two generations sometimes uh, there is one bed called palang that we generally say in the north and you see that this palang palang is just a kind of furniture for used for sleeping if you purchase uh, the palang made of uh, good quality wood it can continue for 100 years that kind of life it has so are we able to rightly utilize them or not just check and then you can note down your observations in your journal along with the conclusions you can draw from these exercises another point to be observed is that if i am so clear about the feeling of prosperity i am utilizing the physical facilities rightly i am not looking for facilities as a source of happiness the same thing may go to our children also and the children also are not into consumption or indulgence but they are also able to look at physical facility as the needs of the body so so much to reflect yesterday we will continue our discussion on prosperity today so if you have been able to do the exercises yesterday you can raise your hand and share your reflection here if you have any question to ask you can ask it also namaste kumar bhai namaste bhai yeah uh, so regarding the physical facility uh, i had purchased a bed 10 years back and it has become so hard and i used to get back pain while sleeping on that uh, when i want to replace it i i was thinking so is it necessary to have a bed can i sleep under on the floor also but the back pain is uh, increasing so i searched analyze and i found a bed and it was costly so then i was uh, uh, thinking whether i should go for it or uh, I should take it in EMI. So finally, after three months of analyzing and comparing, I finally got it. Now. So is it the right? Uh, uh, why this uh, decision making is became so difficult for me for three months? So that's what I want to. Yes, but yeah. So. I think the back pain is not because of the hardness of the bed. See, now you are using a hard bed and if you are trying to go to see on the floor also. So, floor is also the hard, hard the same way, even maybe harder. The back pain generally is because of softness of the cushion, the mattress. So, I don't think it is something to do with the bed. It is something to do with the mattress. So, keep the mattress thin. It is generally observed. And I also use a thin mattress for the purpose. So use a thin mattress. Let the bed be hard. Then you will not have back pain. I mean mattress only, not the bed. Achha, achha. <laughs> yeah. So use a thin mattress and uh, use some mattress which does not dip, like not made of foam or something, like made of jute or some material which does not sag much if you try to use that kind of material for mattress that will work well that is not costly mm -hmm. uh, like the traditional cotton that we used if you use that cotton and for one person to make a bed will not require i think more than three or four kgs of cotton to make a thin mattress that you can easily go for no need to go for something which you have to purchase through EMI. Mm -hmm. In fact, for mattress and all, it's better that you get it manufactured uh, by the local artisans using the traditional cotton that will serve the purpose better. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nice, Bia. Prashant is saying that he is having Palang 50 years old, prepared by my father. Nice. Any other observation? So, the issues that have been raised here, do you find them relevant? Related to your day-to-day -day life? 
just try to see when we think about physical facilities what, what occupies our mind where are we not clear what occupies our mind have we been able to make out the need for facilities rightly so let us go from uh, point number 1 so are you able to see that you are working for physical facilities for fulfilling the needs of the body and not for happiness you can respond in the chat box you are working for physical facilities to fulfill the needs of the body and not for happiness nice parav ji has said yes okay salman ji saying no sangeeta ji saying yes amresh ji saying partly okay karan ji saying fulfilling the needs of the body nimla ji saying no amol ji saying i am still exploring Nandali saying yes, Anupaji, yeah, yes. Upamji saying now yes. Aspali saying no. Nice. Look at this. Look at this. If I am not looking for physical facilities for happiness, maybe when our children are insisting for something, we can get in dialogue with them and we can explain to them also. See, physical facilities. serve the needs of the body through physical facility we get some sensation from the body now it is ultimately me who associates some meaning to the sensation if it is based on preconditioning then i may assume it to be happiness but if it is based on right understanding i look at it as an information that i get from the body for ensuring health of the body or for ensuring participation in the larger order you we'll just see that let's say you have a drawing room you know filled with so many colorful things attractive fancy things now when you have a close friend of yours and he or she is visiting your house you generally do not sit in the drawing room among those colorful things on the uh, sofa but you may take your friend to your personal room which may be very half a jarred may not be so organized because then when the relationship is there the physical facilities do not grab our attention that way but when there is some friend or some person who is coming just formally you know and you are not very comfortable also then you would like to make him sit on the sofa and then talk about extra like external things and just wait for the other person to leave so it's not the facilities that are going to build our relationship is the understanding is the feeling but we spend so much in the name of fulfilling relationship if between husband and wife these things become important then the affection may not be there you know because we are trying to again associate our relationship to the physical facility again we can make out whether we are able to see the purpose of physical facilities rightly isn't it whatever facilities i have so something that we said in the last point so whatever facilities you have you can exactly make out the purpose of it you can go to the kitchen and see whatever things i have in the kitchen are they meant for nurturing the body or otherwise the clothes the shelter the items in the house are they meant for protection of the body or otherwise are they meant for right utilization of the body you know all the things that i am having or otherwise and then budget this thing for yourself education of your children marriage of your children program for ensuring health of the body shelter for your family expenses in the old age some tentative plan some tentative budget can be made now you see that earlier we had this pension plan in the government jobs now the pension plan is not there so earlier people were somewhat uh we they do not had to think much about the old days uh, regarding their expenses but now since the old pension scheme is not there and people have to save today for all the days to come during the working period 
so they have become somewhat more engaged in these thoughts but again i'll say that then the income also might have gone up and earlier only one member in the family was earning now generally husband and wife both are earning it again boils down to right understanding of the needs so while you work for 20 to 30 years you can very much plan for the next you know, part of the life when you are retired and see whether you are able to save enough for your old age there also uh, like our children would also be there to take care of us so when we focus on right understanding right feeling then the need for physical facilities comes down first of all we are not trying to go for physical facilities for sensation for show off but rather we are trying to go for them for fulfilling the needs of the body so maybe you need not share it here but in your journal you can just make out you know how much do i need to save or to earn for these five purposes which we have listed here now you'll see that the education is also becoming costly day by day now in the name of the brand of the school people are going for costly schools in the same locality there could be a range of fee structure of the schools now we might feel that since everyone in my neighborhood is sending to these so called very elite schools i should also be sending my child to the elite schools now there are a few mistakes that we commit here first of all the locality that we have chosen to stay in why we have chosen such a elite society where everybody is spending so much on things unnecessarily so i may choose the right kind of society first of all the colony where i am living secondly i may not decide by peer pressure <laughs> I may not decide by peer pressure, but I need to decide the quality of education that I need to give to my child. Presently, I am also observing that we send our children to very elite schools, costly schools, and then uh, children are not able to follow what is being shared in the classes. And then we have to arrange for tuition also, and the children have to largely depend on tuition uh, to perform well in the examinations so the schools are not playing that kind of role also which they are meant for generally the outcome generally the performance in the examinations is entirely based on the tuition that they get from the teachers so we again have to relook into all these realities and if i'm able to see very clearly that education is to have right understanding and right feeling then I can also see the, these elite schools, are they ensuring the right understanding right feeling or my child is getting conditioned. If I have to spend so much on the clothes of the child, on the shoes of the child, on the hobbies that the schools are prescribing for and he or she is having that kind of company in the school where children are always talking about expensive lifestyle. And then my child may be also be forced to live such a life which is not based on right understanding and for the sake of money he or she may not feel related to me after getting getting educated it may happen hmm. similarly marriage of the children uh, now husband and wife both are earning boy and girl both are earning so earlier when like the girl was not earning, only the boy was earning. So there was a lot of pressure on the parents also for exchange of facilities during the marriage. Now when both are earning, that pressure has come down. But the show off in the marriages has gone up. So just to show to the society that I'm having so much of wealth, we try to display it during marriages. You know, not only marriage, I'll say, in fact, the uh, regular celebrations in the families for uh, birthdays or marriage anniversaries all those things also if you see it has gone up so we need to have festivals we need to have celebrations that is fine but how is it to be ensured how is it to be celebrated it's something to be made out very clearly so let us invite people who are related to us celebrate but it, it may not be like i'm going to have such celebration very lavishly in fact, marriage is meant for 
one boy and girl living together happily and producing children who can also form a human tradition now many times this is not in the focus this is not in the vision also we are seldom sure that the marriages which are being organized in such a lavish manner are even going to sustain because both might be earning but both might be largely preconditioned wrongly evaluating themselves not being able to relate to the family of the in-laws and the relations may not sustain so look into all these purposes we talked about it this study also look at all these points for observation that we shared this study and try to make out the need for facilities or so to say money rightly for yourself and then you can be able to make out that yes to uh, ensure the rest that i do not have that is something that i have to procure i need to work up to this period of time in my life and this time free so it could be a case that uh, people after earning for a certain period of life become fully free and they are able to spend time for developing the society working for a harmonious society universal human order i can also see that in the area where i am living the uh, ncr region the li ncr region uh, the land has been sold to the the farmers have been able to sell uh, sell their lands and they have got a good uh, package out of it also and in many families even though the children do not work they don't have to work they are getting 10 to 20 lakhs rupees per month because the previous generation what they use they uh, just wasted away the money and they are empty handed now but the current generation what they are doing out of the money that they get from selling of the land they are constructing houses they are constructing hostels uh, mark uh, shops in the market and then they are able to make a regular income out of it so i can see that there are so many families in which the income is very much there they don't have to work separately for it it is already ensured only that they have to rightly utilize it but we see that since the right understanding is not there so the lavishness in their expenses lavishness in their life has gone up suddenly so many highways and expressways have been made the cities all the cities are expanding in every city you find new word added to it like new kanpur new uh, bangalore maybe new hyderabad and things like that new chennai new pune so the cities are expanding and wherever the cities are expanding the farmers land is being taken by the government and they are getting a huge package out of that but if they do not have the right understanding they intend to lavish life earlier they were struggling maybe to ensure meal twice a day but now they have so much of money that they don't know what to do with them in fact if you put together all the wealth that the families have and if we are clear about the right understanding of this wealth then we can solve so many problems in society today we can ensure education for much much less cost we can ensure health services at a very low cost isn't it if people have right understanding they will not have to waste their money in family feuds things like that are there yes you can sharing with there namaste bhaiya am i audible ji audible thank you bhaiya we yeah, i just would like to know uh, like today i'm going to share uh, the experience of my uh, two colleagues and uh, like as you have mentioned the things about the show off and uh, like people they don't understand rightly so one colleague is female another one is male the female colleague uh, like i would like to know exactly what uh, like for which purpose she used to do that thing and just maybe looking for a clarification from your end like every time she used to come with like if she is wearing a nice sari simply she is looking presentable and if anybody will appreciate in that case she always start with the price like this is not uh, too much expensive it's only 4000 or like if you are saying that today uh, uh, like uh, your water bottle is also looking great 
or whatever like accessories or anything we are not asking for the price but normally see start with uh, it's it's not too much expensive only 15000 but the interesting fact is that like uh, in my organization it comes under usr activity and due to which we do uh, frequently such kind of things so i can remember one incident i was just thinking about it it was first of january 20 uh, to uh, month 2024 uh, that very day that ma'am was asked to bring a cake uh, as the university is located in the outskirts area and it's not possible those who are residing in the nearby place of university we just asked her that you will bring the cake and then we will provide the money but unfortunately that very day suddenly strike came and due to which uh, like most of the faculty members from the city they were unable to reach to the university and those who are localized they said that once they will come then collaboratively we will distribute and pay for the cake the price of the cake but suddenly her behavior like the way it was changed it was something unexpected for us like every time she usually mentioned that this is not too much expensive it's very less and uh, like uh, in the weekends normally in the morning session although we are not paying any attention or we are least bother i don't know about others in in case of my i'm least bother about like how she had spent the weekend or the vacation but in the morning if she is not having lecture and we are having a uh, free classes she usually come to our uh, place and will start saying that how much she has expended uh for her uh, like for pampering herself or purchasing something new and so on like that either means whether we are paying attention or not but she used to say that thing but when that incident uh, happened after that means every time i used to uh, like surprise like if she is having so much money and every time she is uh, like love to showcase then what's wrong with the price of a cake if she has paid and we are unable to pay on that very day as we are not available like for which reason uh, she like uh, you know she reacted in a different way uh, i think that price of the cake was 750 and she paid first because as she was purchasing but her reaction was something which was completely unexpected and till now it's not clear to me that why she behaved in such a way on that very day when she is having ample of uh, like money and to be frank his husband is also in a high position and um, most of him he used to say that thing also that whatever i am earning i don't know how to expense because what my husband is earning that is more than sufficient i have only a single daughter so that is one colleague and another colleague is very funny fellow like whenever he will purchase something new he used to ask the colleague those who are like we are staying in a common apartment so he usually invite us for a, like for a cup of tea or sometimes for like uh, for dinner or lunch also and after that he usually start in this way that i have purchased something new and to show it off we uh, like i have invited you so please let me know how it's looking and like uh, whether it's looking good or not the price of this product is this and that so means i am little bit uh, like what i can say like what is the purpose of doing such kind of things like we are neither interested that whether you have purchased the new thing and like it should come automatically na price should be come from the audience automatically neither you will say that i have purchased and just because of that reason i have invited you so like for which mentality they usually say such kind of things if you could say a little bit about it maybe yeah. so the answer is very simple that the feeling of prosperity is not there so i can go for the physical facility based on right understanding and right feeling i can go for it for sensation i can go for it based on some precondition so mm-hmm. when the right understanding is not there so we generally go for facilities either based on precondition or for some sensation and that leads to multiple things like show off or something so the answer is very simple the whole thing that to describe that the person is not having the feeling of prosperity 
Mm. Within oneself, one is feeling deprived. Yes, fine. But we have to make the right program. So that's why I'm saying that you organize a workshop in your place, a self-funded one. That will serve many purposes. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, very yeah, true. No, I sometimes uh, wonder. And second thing is that that uh, the male colleague I'm talking about, he always force everybody that uh, go and purchase something um, uh, on the, on the basis of EMI. Don't uh, pay the full payment. I don't understand what is the reason. Like I asked several times also that, sir, why are you saying in this way? Then he said that why do we pay the entire money? EMI is the best option. Na? Uh, so sometimes like I get surprised. Then he said that, ma'am, you don't listen. But uh, I think you would not understand also. But the thing is that why should I pay the entire amount? I like EMI and I have uh, observed also, like he used to convince people that go and do EMI. Don't pay the entire payment. If someone is saying like one of yeah, my colleagues. Yeah. There are yeah. certain things which pamper the consumerism. So first of all, I have to see whether I require the facility or not. If I require mm -hmm. it, then what kind of facilities I require in that physical facility? For example, if you have to go for a car, then mm -hmm. what is the purpose behind the car? And what price of the car will fulfill the purpose? That I have to be very clear. If I'm going for show off, then I'll have to go a very costly car. If I'm going for sensation, I might again have to go for a costly car. But if I'm able to see that it is a means of transportation for me, I may go for a simple car. And then if I have to go for a simple car, I may purchase it you know, by my own salary. You know, savings yes. of a few months together. But if not, then I might have to go for EMI. So we can see presently people are into consumerism, into indulgence, and then they are purchasing so many things on EMI. And if the salary is getting delayed, they would be the first one who start shivering. They would start yes, true, true. You know, that the salary true. is not coming because they have dates for payment of EMI and that is getting violated. Presently in our college also the salary got delayed for some faculty and mm -hmm. one faculty was coming and telling me that, see, sir, uh, uh, I'm so much in programs, I have to pay the EMI. Now I'm taking a loan to pay the EMI. I said, why did you purchase something on EMI? Then he told that he purchased a car, which was costly. I said that, see, there could be other modes also. If you're not sure, you know, if you're not earning that much and not sure also, then you might not have gone for some costly car like this. Isn't it? He purchased a car for around Nine yes, to ten lakhs. Yes. That yes. a car of simply four lakhs or five lakhs would have done the thing, which uh, if you required the car at all. You know? So, have you been able to make out the need correctly? So we have to look into all these issues in our life. And so my concern is that why he is like uh, convincing others to go with the EMI facilities. Like he is doing it all right. But what is the intention behind it? Like, uh, like I am doing EMI and I am influencing people that why are you paying just do EMI? Means what is the intention behind this this kind of statement? Like, why he so is doing he, it? Like one purpose could be that he feels that this is a smarter way of doing things. So he's trying to convince others. Okay. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Thank you, Ria. Yeah, Tarabhya is saying that in case of house, no other way. Yeah, fine. So if I have to purchase a house, then I may go for EMI. But do not go for EMI on mobile, for mobile, you know, for gadgets. So I may purchase a simple one. Quite possible. Yeah, for house, I may have to go for EMI. That is fine. So we have to look at it at a personal level. What are the possible choices for me? We are just raising the issues so that we are able to evaluate, we are able to explore. Uh, good morning, Bhaiya. Uh, I just uh, so now there are too many things which have come in mind since the discussion got so long. First of all, I just was pre to, related to the previous discussion. I just want to say that uh, as you were saying, so for a middle class man, a simple middle class man purchasing a normal car of four lakh rupees is also not po possible to take it in cash. Uh, it there may it, it may not be a show off there may be a need for it because uh, the family has to go or in a big city 
anything so uh, a normal car uh, also it's like 4 lakh rupees it's not easy to take out in a month or so so they have to go on emi for this so this is one my concern so uh, would you like to answer this and then i will ask other question yes so there also i'll say that first of all the figure is not important you may need a car of 4 lakhs you may need a car of 8 lakhs and uh, there's something to be made out at your own end and you may not have that much money also to purchase it today and you may need it just today so you might have to go for it my well and good we can continue with that but again we'll say that there could be other ways also of fulfilling the need so presently we have shared taxis you know like ola uber all these facilities are there so you may go for that also it generally so happens no that people get on a job and the first thing that they start doing is to book a car book a house and you know, or mm. spend lavishly on touring and things like that so if we do not have the right understanding we feel compelled for do all these things and then we have to take so many loans but which may not be required i can use the shared taxi service in fact there are so many services and the way the apps are now being utilized and the facilities are being shared there are so many ways of arranging for things now i just came across uh, one app so if you have to go from one city to another which might be 500 kilometers apart and you are not getting reservation in the train so you not book a flight also there is one app where you can share some for gents it is perfectly okay you can share that taxi service i can go from yeah. one city yeah there are shared taxis i know between yeah. pune to mumbai it is very common my daughter used yes. to play yes. like uh, in the shared taxi on, on only you just look at the road you'll see that most of the people you know are driving the car and there is just one person sitting in the car why the sharing is not there there yes. are many people and you know? so we can go for sharing also we can share the taxi among ourselves we can share you the facilities for sharing taxi for example ola uber so we can hire them if there be a need and why do we have to yeah prashant bhai saying blah blah you there yeah so so uh, so uh, so no the, so people are changing there are the concept of pool taxis uh, pool car like uh, yeah, in car uh, is in city level, like bangalore and all my daughter always she takes pool car with the app she knows that which uh, so which saying. car is passing so not purchase everything in one go and need not go for loans for everything yeah so my idea was like ki if a person really needs and if he is a middle class man even purchasing a normal simple maruti suzuki car is also difficult for him uh, matlab he has to rely on emi this is this no was point. one That's of my thing. first make out the need see there is no prescription as such yeah I'm i know saying... we have to make out a need yes yes, yes. there also yes. when you say really needs is it really that is there or uh, we have assumed it again yeah so you see that if you look at the uh, state of the students if you talk to them right so they get on a job they may not be getting getting a very uh, good job to begin with most of the students they might be getting 25 to 30000 rupees maybe to begin with as their first job but they would like to go for a car which may cost 10 lakhs 20 lakhs okay. where are they going to be now if, if they have not been able to ensure so much that they can fulfill the needs of the family but just planning for marriage at an early yeah. age when they do not have been able to earn enough for the family so most of the time we are under peer pressure that is an issue of concern not to act as per the peer pressure but to look at physical facility and need of the body and then articulate it properly and then go for it oh, yes okay and be a second thought which was coming in my mind was as you were saying that there there is so much wealth in the family and people can uh, no, usually utilize but the thing is uh, there is there are no relationships so that is why even a real brother is not ready to help uh, another brother there are so many examples that's what, and no. all that's what yeah 
yeah and also one thing that what about our country so much wealth is accumulated in the temples from so and there is there a huge section of societies are still below the poverty line so i i so how do we remove this that the wealth is stagnant at one place some section is enjoying so much and one big section is suffering a lot there is no rotation of the wealth so where is the solution to this there is some limitation of time so yeah. i'll say that we need to fulfill the needs of the body through production now if you look at the wealth that is there with the temples that is a kind of reserve uh, that may be a kind of reserve we can have a closer look at this which can help at odd times so you'll see that there was a time when india did not have enough to fulfill the needs so they had to uh, go for this you know uh, they had to put 13 tons of gold uh, to yes. get some loan from imf so as we store certain things to meet our expenses during odd yes. times in the way the nation also does and the gold that is there with the temples and such institutions would be of help at that time presently why people are dying of hunger why people are deprived it is not because the temples have stored the gold it is because people are not clear about the need and they are not able to produce more than what is required many people and there are okay. many people who have been accumulating so much so in place of looking at the wealth in the temples and all we can see that there are some people in the society why it is being said that about 25 to 30 people have wealth today you know which is the wealth of 80% of the population put together from okay. where this accumulation is taking place so that is the major reason okay people are ex being exploited for accumulation for indulgence you can see so much of disparity today right of on one hand Yeah, yes, but again, this is not owing to the lack of facilities. If you put all the facilities together, right, it is much more than required. So, for example, the food that is being produced is six times the requirement. Still, people are dying of hunger. So, I'll not oh. say you know, that it is because of some reserve that is there in the society. No, it is because the food is not being distributed properly. Okay. Some people are spending so lavishly on clothes, and some people may not have enough clothes to survive during winters. Okay. It is because of lack of relationship. Yes, that is there. Yes. Nice, nice, yeah. Didi. So keep on reflecting upon this. Yeah. So we go to session two: basic human aspiration and its fulfillment. G. So we are able to see. that basic human aspiration is continuous happiness and prosperity happiness is to be in a state of harmony and the prosperity is the feeling of having or producing more than required physical facility now we talked in detail about the feeling of prosperity today we had talked about happiness in detail in fact we started by uh, discussing whether happiness is my innate nature or some external influence so essentially i can see that happiness is to be in a state of harmony within So with this clarity, we can proceed further. So the basic aspiration is for continuity of happiness and prosperity. This is fulfilled by living in human consciousness by ensuring right understanding, right feeling, and physical facility, and that also with the correct priority, where right understanding comes to the first priority, followed by right feeling relationship, followed by physical facility. Now, if I am ensuring all the three with the correct priority, I am living with human consciousness. But if unknowingly I am not ensuring that in standing that feeling within, then uh, I am living with animal consciousness because I am primarily focused on physical facilities in my life. And you can see that whatsoever be the accumulation for physical facility, if the right understanding is not there, right feeling is not there, it will not ensure the feeling of happiness and prosperity in me. this is living with animal consciousness transformation from animal consciousness to human consciousness is ensured through human education sanskar now when we were talking about the need for money for educating our children then again you have to see whether the 
way I'm spending on the education of my child. Is it going to transform my child from animal consciousness to human consciousness? It may be the case in, and something that we can see very visibly also nowadays that there are education institutions which are somewhat training our children to live with animal consciousness into consumerism, into so many malpractices. Somewhat they are getting unintentionally being trained into that. So whether the education that I'm providing to my child is transforming my child from animal consciousness to human consciousness or otherwise, I have to look into it. So this is essentially the purpose for you know, education sanskar. Next slide, please. So we are all acquainted with this diagram. We can have a closer look at this. This is the gist of all that we keep on discussing. So I need all the three right understanding in the self relationship with human being and physical facility with the rest of nature. If I'm just limiting myself to physical facility, I'm living with animal consciousness. But when I'm able to ensure all the three in my life, I'm living with human consciousness. And then I am progressing in true sense of the word. With right understanding and right feeling, I am able to ensure mutual happiness in my relationships. And this right understanding of the need for physical facility and the right method to produce the physical facility, I feel prosperous within. I also enrich the rest of nature. There is a mutual prosperity. And this is the coveted state of our life. When we are able to ensure mutual happiness in all our relationships, mutual prosperity in all our interactions with the rest of nature. So find it out. Look at it, whether we are able to ensure this or not. In the meantime, let me take the question of Prashant here. Ji, 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 Namaste, Sabiko. Bhaiya, thanks a lot. Very nice discussion. It seems to be it is of me only. <laughs> I was relating. Uh, really, Bhaiya, people ask me, Bhaiya, you are having this much salary. You are a senior person, professor, a dean. And why you are coming in a shared car? I used to go uh, with sharing uh, my friends, those who are uh, nearby. I walk for some distance. And all the time, if it is holiday, I used to use cycle. It is six kilometers away, my college. And nearby all one to three kilometers, I can walk uh, only. So I think if it is the case, everybody can do. And from this, my son is benefited. He also doing same thing. So that was my sharing. And it is very, uh, really means uh, what that is called. As, it gives happiness or with happily I am doing this. Ji bhaiya, thank you. Nice discussion. Nice, nice bhaiya. Bhaiya. Yeah. Very nice. So it's not that if I'm earning you know, more, I have to spend more. No. then. The way we are discussing, we are able to see that the need for physical facility is limited and the need is not going to be determined by my salary. The need is something definite in itself. So I can make out the need rightly and use the rest for ensuring right understanding, right feeling in others. Working for undivided society, working for universal human order. Isn't it? Nice. Any other reflection on this? So this is something that we can see the Taram here. Yeah, and I just to uh, share some of the thoughts regarding the this uh, prosperity feeling. Uh, like uh, I am staying in a rented house in Bhubaneswar, and uh, like I was thinking for procuring a new house. And earlier when I was not, you know. Uh, there with this content, I was thinking like uh, you know, being a son, it's uh, very much necessary to extend the property of your father. Father, you are not a you know good son, <laughs> and uh, uh, I was not sure whether I was really needing a home or not. But slowly, when uh, we went through this content and uh, the first exercise, I remembered given in the first workshop, count the number of uh, clothes you have so it was just like a eye opening step and uh, over the time when the same thing uh, was coming again and again I was able to see many things which are 
uh, still there in house and they are not being used and uh, like uh, I have one house at uh, our village and if i see uh, means i look back my father uh, means his father my grandfather's house is there in, um, in the place where my father was born then i we were having a house where i was born in a different city now i'm uh, in another city now so i'm thinking of you know, having a house now say my daughter will be somewhere there then she will be thinking of a house at a particular point of time then what will happen in this way it will progress what will happen to the uh, resource over our and many things so uh, you know these are a few things i just want to share with you Jibre. yeah Thank so you. like few things to observe here nowadays families are having one or two children so you'll see that if the parents have constructed a house it can fulfill the needs of the children as well isn't it? This is one major possibility. Second thing is that when they go for making a new house also, then in place of uh, arranging for it personally, separately, they can have their parents living with them. And then they may you know, uh, think of selling off the uh, house or the property that they have earlier and then just managing from there. But for that, you have to ensure the right feeling in the relationship. If the parents are selling their house and then moving to their children's house, then we have to ensure respect for them. We have to ensure affection for them. If that is not the case, then they would like to live in their own house. In many families, it is happening that the parents have no one to care. But since uh, the children are not having affection for them or the children may not ensure respect for them, okay, it could be because of some preconditioning on either side also, but still... Parents are also living in isolation. The children are also living in isolation. The parents have already have a big house that they no one to live with. And the children are procuring a new house through EMI and all those things. And they are always in debt. So this kind of scenario is also emerging. That's why this relationship is very important. If the relationship is clear, then we can live together. And we can then see very precisely how much facilities we have put together. In many houses, it has become a common scenario that the parents are living isolated in some house. They have no one to take care of. And the children are also not trying to arrange something for them, but they have to earn a lot. They have to you know, arrange so many things to have a house of their own. And we are not able to fulfill the relationship that way. So can the parents and the children live together happily? This is an important issue to address. If the present generation is not able to keep their parents with them, then how will their children be ready to keep them with them? And then this rush for more and more facilities will be on in the society. This is an important issue here. We need to reflect on this. So what we discussed today, we discussed the feeling of prosperity today. And then we saw that the basic human aspiration is continuity of happiness and prosperity. Happiness is to be in harmony. Prosperity is the feeling of having more than required physical facility, having or producing. And the role of education and sanskar is to enable the transformation from animal consciousness to human consciousness. We'll discuss this slide more tomorrow.